it's it's all about interest rates, right? And what I find really interesting is that all of this money printing and all of this money creation has essentially, I mean, there's no value in the currencies anymore. So that's not a new thing. And it's not just the US dollar going away. It's actually the entire financial system that has to reset into that new system. So taking away any stigmas of bank borrowing, but they are all insolvent, every single one. And, and it's really simple. Actually, I have it right here with my sterling silver chopstick. This is the principal value of the bonds. These are the interest rates. So for 15 years, they held the interest rates at zero. So any of the bonds or, or debt, so mortgages, auto loans, student loans, credit card loans, any of the debt was inflated. Its valuation was inflated. Then once that has reversed, so 22 and beyond, we'll look at the principal value of all of that debt now. If they are forced to sell because uh, of a lot of withdrawals from the banking sector, as you were talking about, we saw those regional banks collapse. There have been a number of regional banks that have collapsed since then. Every single, because what are what have the central banks been doing, right? They've been buying up all of this government debt with interest rates at zero or even negative. So now that the interest rates are pushed up to quote unquote fight the inflation, all of the valuation of all of that debt is way underwater. So in commercial okay. real estate, it's not just commercial real estate. Certainly, we're watching a lot more buildings being given back to the lenders. But if the valuations of all of the banks, including the central banks, are based on debt, which they are because the entire system is based on debt. This is a debt-based system. Those interest rates have pushed down the market valuations of all of that debt, not just bonds, not just mortgages, but it's also auto loans, student loans, credit cards, and then all of the mountains, trillions and trillions and quadrillions of derivative bets against that debt or against that credit quality. So yes, every single central bank, every single commercial bank, every, well, community banks typically do not take those kinds of risks, but they're sitting with all of that commercial real estate, real estate, other real estate that is at nosebleed level, multifamily, single family, all of that debt is underwater, all of it. 